Hey guys, Bonnie and Em and I are on another adventure today. It's gorgeous out. You can see the mountains in the background. You got the Alaska Range, uh, Denali, somewhere back in there. What we did was we brought the kayaks from the lodge to the North Shore over here. We're going to go on this little hike and just take advantage of this beautiful fall day. Hope you guys enjoy today's episode. Did Howie take one of your pieces of wood? Right here. <laughs> Good boy. All right, we got it. Oh, look at those muscles. Good job. Thank you, Peanut. <laughs> wow. Doing a good job helping Dad, Em. Whoa, that's a really big piece. Whoa, look at that, Dad. Whoa, good job. <laughs> wow. She's got some muscles. Whoa, Emma, that's such a big piece. Holy smokes. Good job, Emma. <laughs> All right, let's go get a little bit more. Our fall out here has been cold and crisp. We are seeing the Alaska Range and Denali almost every day. Our lake has just started to freeze up in a few spots, but there is still a lot of open water. With the cold weather comes fall chores. I started by gathering all the propane bottles from the cabins and the shower house and brought them up on the porch. Then I closed in the porch with plywood so that it doesn't pack in with drifted snow. We also use that as a storage area during the winter. I winterized the shower house by draining all the lines and emptying out the water heater. I also built a little shanty shed off of the woodshed for the four-wheeler and the plow. We don't use it much, but when we do, it comes in really handy. And the biggest fall project is winterizing the spring line that runs from up the hill to our backyard. After I take the line out of the spring, I drain all the line and coil it. The overall length of the line is around 2,000 feet, and I end up with about five coils. I also mark each coil with a long pole so that I can find it in the springtime when they are under three feet of snow. <clears throat> That's it. We ran out of water. We're out of here. Yeah, you heard me right. We are out of here, out of this cabin. So that was the plan all along. Bonnie and Emma and I were going to move up to the lodge while Zach and Alyssa are away on their road trip. 
And what I planned on doing, well, I gotta give some credit to Zach. So water's always an issue out here, right? And especially during freeze up, we have to winterize our spring line and then wait for the lake to freeze over. Real quick look here. It's making its way. And while we do that, we stock up as much water as we can from the spring line before we winterize it. And I filled up the cabin, our cabin. I filled up the lodge. And so the cabin is full, right? Zach says, why don't you use all of the water in your cabin until it's gone, then move up to the lodge and you've got full tanks. So that, that tank in our cabin lasts us roughly two weeks for Bonnie and Emma and I. So that gave us two additional weeks of water without the spring line and without having to haul off the lake. Great idea, Zach. It worked out great. And today we're moving up to the lodge with full tanks and we're ready to go. So the main reason we're doing this is when we winterize the spring line, we move the washing machine into the lodge. That allows us to still use the washing machine, the spinner washing machine to wash clothes. And also, Bonnie and I have a cook stove in our cabin, but only the, the stove top works, the oven doesn't work. So for Bonnie to do any baking, any cookies, any bread, any granola, um, or any dinners of any sort, we have to come up here to the lodge to do that. And we can do that, but then, you know, it's cold in there, I start a fire, it takes all day to heat up, and it's just a whole process. So. To be able to do laundry easier and to bake and cook things easier, we decided let's just move into the lodge for, for three months, three or four months, however long it's going to be. And it's going to make life a lot easier. So that's the main reason why we're doing that. And we're pretty much done moving in. We got Emma's toys moved in. We got most of our clothes moved in. Um, just what we need. You don't really need much. And uh, so that's where we're at. The Monte Brothers. <laughs> Yeah, You gonna tell him to stay? A good boy. Ready, Howie? Are you getting it? Stand right in the middle of my coil. <laughs> how's how's the help going? It's perfect. <laughs> it gives me a aiming spot. 